Let's see another practical question. The company Medina Limited owns several properties which are revalued each year. Three of them are rented out under annual contract. Details of these properties and their valuation are ABC, life of the property, 50 years, 50 years, 15 years, then cost, 150 million, 120 million, 120,000 million. Then valuation on 30th September 20, 2020. Then we did again at the other year end, that is 21. So look here, property A cost was 150, but the value on 30th November, uh, September is 240, but it reduces in 21. B case, it was 120, now goes to 180, again reduce it by 145. Similarly, C, 120 increased 140, then again increased by 150. Now, explanation about these properties. All these properties were acquired on 1st October 2019. So, year will be end 30th September 2020. And the other year will be end 30th September 2021. The valuation of the property are based on their age and the date of valuation. Medina Limited policy is imagine for all these assets liabilities we have an accounting policy. So for this purpose their policy is to carry all non-investment properties at cost. The non-investment property should be at cost. Only investment property case they are following the valuation model also. Annual amortization where appropriate is based on the carrying value of the assets at the beginning of the relevant period. Now individual property wise, a property is led to a subsidiary of Medina Limited on a normal commercial term. Though Medina itself is not using this property for your person for, uh, for your uh, office work, but they have lent it to a subsidiary. Now do remember this topic is we are going to discuss in detail later on. But what is subsidiary here? Subsidiary is a company where Medina has invested money. More than 50% share Medina hold this property. Now when we look into those two, the holding company and the subsidiary company, it is one unit. So it means if Medina is using or subsidiary is using, it means it is used by the owner. So that's why it is not investment property. The other properties are let on terms. The other properties are normal commercial terms. So are investment properties. Now Medina Limited adopted the fair value model for accounting for investment properties in IS 40 and the benchmark treatment for owner occupied property. Uh, yes, 16. As I said, that the property A is not meant there for appreciation or for rental because it is given to a subsidy, another company which you own. That's why it is owner's property and it goes by uh, IS 16. The other two are investment property. Now, the requirement describe the possible accounting treatment to investment properties. IS 40 and explain why and they may require a different accounting treatment to owners occupied properties. Because in owners occupied property you are making use of that property. So in that case what will happen that it, it may uh, depreciate or it may cause some breakage or something. So it is sim simply uh, is not going to be used as an investment property. Prepare extract consolidated financial statement of Medina Limited for the year to 30th September 2021 in respect of the our property assuming that company of the fair value model. Clearly he is requesting that if you are preparing the consolidated financial statement. So as I said in the question clearly that if it is a consolidated statement subsidiary 
and holding company they are the same one group one entity so that's why they are using that property that is not going to be uh, taken care as a investment property